Hello my lovelies and I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my new vlog. It's a new series on this channel. And I really hope you're gonna enjoy it. And today I'm basically just gonna talk about why I'm doing this vlog. Uh, I am a dressmaker. I make wedding dresses and I also plan weddings uh, that needs to be super customized. And um, because of the pandemic right now, I'm not working like everybody else in the industry, which sucks. So I've decided instead of doing nothing, I'm just gonna do clothes for myself. Because guess what? I always need clothes. And like, I don't know if you know, but I'm almost six foot tall and I wear extra large to like, actually, it's like in between 1X and extra large that I wear, depending on the style. And honestly, most of the time, all of the clothes that I find in store, other than sportswear, which is what I'm wearing all the time when I work, I can't find anything in store. So, I need some clothes. I need some stuff to dress myself properly for work, for events for going outside with my kids. So I decided, let's do this. Let's make some clothes and document all of this stuff. I really hope you're gonna like this concept. Uh, we're gonna be filming in this area of my office, which uh, includes the um, ironing area, and then I have my new mannequin that I build. I will talk to you about this a little bit later. And on this side here, I have my cutting table and my sewing table. This is pretty much where I uh, cut and sew everything. I'll just turn you a little bit, show you all this stuff. I have a whole bunch of fabrics there, a whole bunch of scrap that I'm working on right now. But on this uh, vlog, we're focusing on making everyday clothes, which is gonna be super great, I think. Well, I think you're gonna like it. Hopefully you do, and you decide to follow this process throughout your summer and your very boring life, like mine is right now, throughout COVID. So um, I'm gonna talk to you about this gal here. I just finished to build this thing, and I needed something to fit clothes on myself, and as you know, it's not always easy to fit something on yourself, especially when it's more structural dresses or, um, you know, like pants or fitted garments. So I built myself a mannequin with my measurements. Let me lift her a little bit. She's a little low, but she is me, minus all of the bumps, but I mean, it's gonna, stuff in itself as I use it. It's just brand new stuff. So eventually this stuff is just gonna get really smooth and nice. I'm thinking, we'll see. I've never made a bus before. But I made this from a um, service that you can find online. If you're interested in making a bus like this for yourself and you want to sew clothes and, and like fit them on a bodice that is your size, I will link below where you can find and purchase the pattern. This is actually a really inexpensive process and everything comes uh, printed out in a piece of uh, pattern like this that you print out on your um, um, printer at home. I just drop the piece and you just stitch it all together, cut all the pages, send all together, like tape all the stuff and then you cut, sew, assemble everything, stuff it all up, and then you have a very nice, cushy, smooth uh, bodice. My, mine is a little firm because I really stuffed it up, you know, the, as much as I can to make it as rigid as possible, but still like soft. And I just, you know, make sure everything was like the right size for me. And this is it. This is what I'm gonna be working on for most of the time. And obviously I'll do the final touches on myself. Obviously I might not be 
putting this online because you know privacy I don't want to show my boobs to everybody but I might just give you like a little look at what I'm doing when I'm fitting myself so for the first project I'm gonna do I have my good friend who is getting married it is an event that I need to go to it's really important it is my son's godfather that's getting married and I need a dress obviously we don't know if I'm gonna need it for uh, this event or maybe later on, but still we're gonna make it because I will need it eventually because they are getting married for sure, eventually. So, um, I've already started the process before having this great idea of documenting everything. And this is the dress that we're gonna be making together. So uh, it's like a um, crop top with a back that's like really designed, oriented with a straight skirt, the same color as the top and over top I will have a one layer tool skirt with a gathered panel at the bottom. Very excited, very cute, very fashion. And guess what? I am a plus size lady and I will be wearing this and uh, I will not be ashamed of wearing this. So whatever your size, you can wear anything you want. If you make it to fit your own body, it, you will look great. So um, I have no shame here. I'm just going to uh, go for a sexier look. I think my husband's gonna really like this. And this is what we're going to do in the weeks to come. I don't know how long this is going to take me. I'm going to try to keep these vlogs not too long so that you can watch the process as you are, as you have free times, I guess. Um, and as I have free time also because I do run a business and I do have little kids. So that takes a lot of my time. But as much as I can, I will be working on project to project. And hopefully you enjoy this and follow me on Instagram and here on YouTube. Uh, don't forget also to check out my um, Facebook page. I have great stuff there also. If you need anything for yourself, it's awesome. I already started the pattern. This is the base pattern. So I have the top part and the skirt, straight skirt here that are ready to be cut in fabric. And stitch and fitted to this bodice right now so I'm super excited to start that with you um, so what I'm gonna do right now is clean up my cutting table and then we can cut this pattern together Okay, so when I fit my pattern, I don't use expensive fabric. I use these uh, cotton. These are pretty thin. They are poplin. I use this or muslin, depending on what the garment, what is the garment I'm building. This building is going to be built in uh, satin, so we're going to keep it light because the satin is really light. And yeah, so. We're going to start and let's get cutting. So I'm going to bring my chair and sit and cut this thing in order to fit. So I, I usually keep like scraps of fabric. I don't like to waste too much because you never know. You see like little pieces like this can fit. All right, so let's see. This doesn't seem like it's gonna fit. This is my waistband. What is this? This is the back of my waistband with, and these are pockets for the, the skirt, but I'm not gonna use that. And these are the skirt part. So these are bigger part. And these are the body part. 
like this and like this. So basically this goes back in front and then this goes in the front and this is the back. Okay, so we're gonna cut this and fit this. The kids are playing outside, so I have a limited time to do things, but we're gonna get this rolling and do as much as possible. Yeah, I know a lot of people don't use pen, but I don't like my stuff to move. It makes it very uh, inaccurate. And you know, you never know what's gonna happen. So I always put spins on it just in case something happens. I'm just gonna cut this.
All right, so I'm gonna wrap it up here today. It's gonna be done because now it's dinner time and I have to make dinner. And hopefully you keep following this to see the result of this dress. I can't wait to show you. Don't forget to subscribe to never miss any of these vlogs, obviously, and other videos that I post about weddings, fashion, testing shit for you. <laughs> I shouldn't say this word, testing stuff for you. Do follow me on Instagram. I have a few handles at Tryout Family and obviously Amanvi Design, which is my main handle. And Big Sis Little Bro, where I do like renos and uh, DIY projects inside the house with my brother. So we are doing here and at the country house, we are doing some DIYs there. It's in French though, but you know, never too late to learn something new. So till next time, enjoy your day.